barking and growling at the other guys. Well, when you get two or three dogs all together barking and growling, then it's like, you know, give me space, yeah. you know? Yeah. And yeah. so one of them will go after the other one, just like, you're in my way, sure. when they're all like jacked up. Yeah. 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 So they'll. They will be who they are. Yeah, yeah so. Oh, wait a minute. Through, then we'll I'll tell you when to start the day two. Yeah. Two minutes, two and a half minutes. This should go fairly smooth. Yeah. Welcome to Positive Partners, a dog training show. And today we're going to talk about muzzles, something I haven't really used very much. Uh, I have had dogs that might have been handy to use, and we have one little well-mannered pup here. 
Uh, today, uh, we have uh, Tom High School with us, who's a dog training guru or expert or something. I've been to the Karen Pryor Academy. I'm Dr. Tom High School. I'm a retired clinical psychologist, uh, PhD from Purdue, and went to the Karen Pryor Academy for animal training. And um, we're talking about muzzles today. And if you can get a close up on, okay, yeah, this is. This is, I'll just. Yeah, drop the lower. This is, this, yeah, this is an Italian basket muzzle. Uh, it's lightweight, plastic, comfortable for dogs. Um, there are some wire muzzles that are made like this, a little heavier. I like, I like this. You can go on the web and look for Italian uh, basket muzzle, and a good website uh, seller of these is going to tell you how to size them and they'll talk with you over the phone about how to measure your dog and so forth. They're reasonably cost uh, priced. They come in all kinds of sizes from really tiny to, if I can get now this. Would, would dogs with really large. Would dogs with a uh, short nose use a different one or do they all use the same? You know, yeah, like a mastiff mm, versus a collie. Yeah, yeah, right. Longer nose and mm -hmm. squashy nose. Yeah, and that's where your the the seller, a good seller, is going to tell, going to give you a measurement. And they're going to say, okay, this particular muzzle is the best uh, best match. Okay. Now, um, I guess the first thing I'd like to ask. Well, I want to say there's another kind of muzzle. Okay. And that is a cloth muzzle that oh. fits very snugly around the stout snout, not stout. Stout snout. Uh, right, that too. It's, yeah. <laughs> and um, anyhow, what that does is is the advantage of this kind of uh, Italian basket muzzle is that the dog can take treats through the side here. The dog can drink. The dog can uh, pant. And panting is the only way that they control their temperature. Because they don't sweat. They don't sweat. They sweat. The only other sweat, only, the only sweat glands they have are on the bottom of their feet. So by the way, if you see a dog that's leaving wet footprints, that's a, mm. that's a, a very hot or stressed out dog. Okay. Um, and so anyhow, the, uh, these uh, uh, nylon mesh ones are quick to put on uh, and uh, handy to carry. Um, but the but idea is, right, the idea of those of is they, the dog can't open his mouth can't open its mouth very much, but unless they're really snugly fitting, dogs can get a little bit of motion of their front teeth. So if someone, if the vet or somebody had their, you know, hand or face right next to the front of the dog's mouth, they could get a slight, slight nip there. Right, because it's a so tube and the front end of it's open. It's open, yeah. So this prevents bites. Um, so it kind of gets us into why would you use a muzzle and so forth. My mic. Oh. So, uh, why, what kind of dogs, uh, why would you want to use a muzzle? Okay. You know, are there dogs that would need a muzzle their whole life? Hmm. Well, it, it, uh, if a dog's reactive, a dog is lungy and so forth and might get frightened and might take a nip at a passing bicycle, a uh, child, you know, somebody who, doesn't, who has a look that they don't like, then if you have them out in public and you have a muzzle on them, then that's safety for all. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I at, think that usually scares people, doesn't it, seeing a dog on a muzzle? Yeah, which that's, it, that is, it does. <laughs> yeah, they think, oh my gosh, you know, this is like... This is a killer right? on the leash. Yeah, here. that's right, yeah. And so they'll back away, which kind of works, you mm -hmm. know. It's they give your dog space, and if your dog's reactive, your dog wants space to begin with, so thank you very much, that works all around, right. you know. Um, so, uh, the, in that case, the thing for the owner to get over is feeling really badly that their dog's, you know, in a muzzle. Um, so, once the owner's comfortable with that, people give the dog space, and that's the safest dog in the, uh, you know, on the sidewalk at that point. Um, you so, said, maybe sure. my first time to a dog park with a dog that's unknown amongst other dogs? I don't know that I would no. because I'm, I'm first off, I'm actually, down. yeah, yeah, I'm, you know, other dogs are going to see that that dog is without any defenses. So if you, if there's a dog that's aggressive, then it's like, okay, this dog is really an 
easy target and might might provoke a problem. I'm not a really big fan of dog par parks yeah. unless they're admission dog parks where people have to have memberships. And they have some obligation to monitor their dogs. Uh, or dogs are vetted, you know. Yeah, they're vetted in not, some way. Not yeah. my vets, but vetted in the way that they're sort of like guaranteed or uh, known they've kind of some people of the owners have signed on to some understanding that they're going that their dogs first off are non-dog and non-people aggressive right uh, and that they they have the responsibility for monitoring what's going on with their dog because a lot of dog parks people go there and you know they they say that they're there to let the dog socialize where they don't supervise their dogs and the people socialize right and the dogs get themselves in all kinds of problems so mm -hmm. you know and and one bad incident at a dog park with another dog can can put you in a situation where you're you're undoing what happened for weeks and weeks or months or even you know potentially years so right. I unless I'm really confident of the dogs there and the people there I just, you know I'll just let my dog go with some with a few dog friends that he has and that's good. I know my dogs can be react well at least one of them maybe two can be reactive with certain dogs mm -hmm. it might right. be perfectly fine with a certain set, mm -hmm. but there's that one dog down the street that mm -hmm. just gives him the evil eye, and yeah. he, he will go after that one every time. Yeah, yeah. So they like like all of us. They don't like everybody and don't right. get along with everybody. Yeah. Um, the other time to another time to have a muzzle is at the vet's office, um, depending on the procedure. Mm -hmm. You know, if a dog is 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 anxious, frightened, uh, if you accustom your dog to wearing a muzzle ahead of time and you have the muzzle on the dog just when you're taking the dog for a walk or you're going to do something fun the muzzle predicts okay we're, we're putting the muzzle on we're going out in the yard and then we take the muzzle off and we play ball or something like that right. so having the muzzle on predicts something good or if you're going to the vet's office and you're maybe having a fun vet visit where nothing's happening you just take the dog in the dog's in the muzzle you know you you maybe step up on the scales you go outside and then you go to McDonald's and give them a little bit of, uh, you know, part of the hamburger. Right. As far as the dog's concerned, that was all pretty good. Pretty so good. So don't predictor. put it on, and every time you put it on, clip their nails. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then they know. Uh oh, it, something yeah. bad's coming. Yeah. If 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 every time you put it on, something's going to happen that they don't like, then they go. They 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 got that one figured out, and then you're going to get resistance to putting the right. muscle on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had a dog that was very. Very reactive, had, you know, I had adopted it and the previous people had used muzzles, drugs, and all kinds of other things for, you know, it was only two years old, mm -hmm. but uh, was aggressive and you could hardly put a collar on the, yeah. the guy and he would freak out. Yeah, for him bad things had probably happened Right. every time someone came to put a collar on him or, you know handle them and that sort of stuff. Right. So it, it, you know, when you're putting on a muzzle and you're doing all this sort of stuff around the dog's face, you, you probably first want to get the dog comfortable with body handling because mm -hmm. you are you know, touching the dog uh, all over. So that's an that's a, that's a important first step. Um, another, uh, uh, anyway, if you're at the vet's office, it's better to have your dog comfortable with the muzzle because if the dog gets scared, does get nippy, the vet is they don't want to but they're going to have to make sure that they're safe so they're probably going to put on a muzzle very quickly that won't be a pleasant experience for the dog and and when they were already anxious to begin with now they're more anxious you got through that visit but the next visit may be more of a problem so right. prevent the problem to begin with and uh you know if you if if you know something's going to be necessary you know where you're going to need a muzzle it's more than just a you know, check the teeth, uh, they're going to have to do something that bothers the dog, then, mm -hmm. you know, put the muzzle on. And, and generally have the muzzle, you know, on so in ways that it, it, the dog can't tell that something bad's going to happen. Right. Doesn't mean just don't make a negative association. Don't make a negative association, thanks. That just says it. Yeah, <laughs> right there. And another one I'm going to take, when I take my dog out, the way I'm going to get him to feel comfortable with is uh, he loves to track squirrels. Hmm. Now, he, he must have some bird dog in him because he will just stop, freeze, you know, and kind of sometimes bring up his front right paw and point mm -hmm. and lean forward. And then he stalks and then he stops. If they look at him, he'll kind of look at them and then he'll look away like, well, I really wasn't looking at you, you know. Anyway, and that's what he does with squirrels. But if he's not finding a squirrel 
and I think he's tracking the scent on the ground. Sometimes he cha he's tracking chicken bones. Hmm. And so I've had to you take as many th as three chicken bones out of his mouth <laughs> in one outing. It's kind of wow. like, you know what, I'm, the muzzle stays on now, you know, until he spots a squirrel. And then when he starts his stalking and all that sort of stuff, I'll take the muzzle off. Not for the purpose of him catching the squirrel, which he doesn't do. They get within right. feet of each other and just look at each other. You but don't want him to swallow the chicken bones and get I don't, choked. Yeah, right, right. And I'm tired of having... You know, his saliva on there, which doesn't bother me, but it's the people's saliva, you know. Right. It's like, I don't want to think about the person that just ate that chicken. So, oh, right. Yeah, right, that <laughs> kind of stuff. Like, you know. Dirty yeah. humans. Yeah, right, right. Dog <laughs> spits, fine. Yeah. 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 People spit, not so much. For me. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So anyway, we've got some, um, uh, what else? Okay, so you do take this uh, training step by step. And uh, muzzles become treat dispensers for dogs. So, you, like I said, you can you can feed the dog in between, you know, here or right here. But put, put, and what you gradually do is you, when you start off, get this thing. Yeah, I would imagine that you would just hold it as a basket. And, yeah. And what have them see you drop the treat in the basket, and then you hold it up to them, and they will go for the treat. Right. And then the first couple times, don't attach it. Right. Oh, definitely. You know, you really, you're going to see uh, four different training sessions. Each one's less than five minutes long. Mm -hmm. uh, and they get down briefer and briefer and briefer. So anyway, the first thing is if the dog is uncomfortable with something new, the dog just looks at it. And you go, yes, you know, and feed the treat. The dog is here. The dog touches it. You know, do, yes. And then you maybe put the treat in just at the front of the muzzle. The dog takes it, you know, and, and gets it. Yeah, it's, and it, the thing is not going to get you. It's, it's not, not going to get you. Right. Yeah, you want comfort level. Right. So eventually, the dog, you're, you're putting the treat in here at the front of the muzzle. The dog's keeping it there. Uh, and, you know, then you, you go, th you do that little trial. You take the muzzle away, get a treat in your hand again. You know, and they put it here, the dog comes up, sticks its nose in, you know, yes, good boy, you know, and then maybe briefly, yeah, and then the dog's happy, and then <laughs> yes, give it another treat. So we'll see how that looks. This is the first video. Bo's never had a muzzle on before, so we'll start that, and this is how it looks. This is Italian muzzle. Just have sound. Mm hmm Okay. All right, is the sound working? Small. Lightweight. Comfortable for dogs uh, once they, you know, after they get used to them. And I'm going to pick one that is about the right size for Bo. And get him used to that or start that process. This is going to be particularly helpful because when he goes to look for squirrels in the local park, he's also looking for chicken bones. And I've taken as many as three chicken bones out of his mouth in a particular outing. So I'm going to get him familiar with this basket muzzle. And when we go on our outings, he can wear the basket muzzle until he finds spots of squirrel and then he can stalk after it. He, he stalks and watches them, doesn't particularly try to catch them. I think this is about the right size. Now these muzzles have end pieces in them that you can slide up and down. through that slot and that acts as an additional barrier on the front. I'm going to see if I can feed him treats through the side of this thing here. Uh, maybe. Bo Bo. Hey Bo. 
he likes these kiwi, zewi peak treats here. It's dried meat from New Zealand, a terrific size. Come here, Bob. Here. Yes, good boy. Come here. Yes, good boy. Here we go. See, it? I'm not finding a way to uh, feed this to him. Come here, Bill. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. Here you go. Here you go. Yes, good boy. Good dog. That's about the right size. Good job. All right, that's a good start for today. Good job, Bo. All done. Good boy. Yeah, good flop. So, as far as he's concerned, that muzzle is a treat dispenser. Good boy. And keeping it on, I'm going to put it on him when we go to the park. I'll feed him some treats in the muzzle there, which will be fine with him. And then he'll know what we're at the park to do. So we'll get out of the park and then his mind will be on finding squirrels, won't it? And then we can go around and look for squirrels. And when he finds a squirrel, I'll take the muzzle off and he can enjoy looking for the squirrel that way, unimpeded. All right, good bow. Yes, you are. All right, ready to go home? Yeah, you ready to go home? All right. Want to do a couple more things? Good boy. Down. Good boy. Stand. Yes, good boy. Sit. Yes. Down. Stand. Stand. Yes, good boy. All done. Good job. All right, let's go home. You just start out, so you just start out um, slowly, and the amount of training time there was, I don't know, actually a minute and a half or so when I was... Yeah, it was only was, half that video. Yeah, it was only half of that. Um, and uh, the next video is the second day he's ever had any exposure to a muzzle, and uh, that day I'm... I'm being fumble fingered, and he's going like, you know, you're kind of clumsy, aren't you? So he's kind of biting at the muzzle. And anyway, we got it worked out. So the thing is, to be patient with yourself and your dog. Take it in little steps, and uh, try uh, to make it obvious. I think for the dog, what you want. You do, yeah, yeah. You want to make it obvious what mm -hmm. you want. You know, if 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 the dog's getting frustrated, probably you're not making it very obvious what you want. So right. try to make it a little easier, a little more, a little more obvious. Okay, let's roll that second one. Come here, 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 come here,
Come here. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Hi, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. All right, I'll feed it to you from the side. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Here. Here you go. Move my fingers. Here you go. Yes. Good boy. Here. Good boy. Yes. Come on. Here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Put your nose in. Hey. Put your nose in. Here. Come on. Hey. Come here. Yes. Come here. Come on. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Let me give it to you. Yes. Good boy. Time slow. Yes. Good boy. Here. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is, good boy. Good job. Yes. Good boy. Good job. Okay. All right. All done. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Good boy. Here you go. All done. Good job. All right. So the difference between the first video and the second is you got the second one fastened a little bit? I, I, yeah, I, I took it around the back of his neck a little bit, you know, just held it back there. I never do. I, ha I haven't gotten to the place where I'm fastening it. You know, or keeping it on there for any length of time. But he, you know, since he was kind of like this, I was able to just hold it back here and start putting slight pressure on, then mm -hmm. letting that go. And then you, you want the whole thing to be, you know, this is fun. And at the end of the training, you want to, the end of the training to be like, okay, we had a good time. We'll go to uh, the third um, one here. And at this one, you big boy. You want to practice with your muzzle? Practice with your muzzle. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. All right. Yes, good boy. Here. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Here. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. Good job. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Good boy. Good job. Good job. 
All right, all done. Good boy. Good boy. Here we go. All done. Good job. Good job. Good job. Are you ready to go home? All right, so it looks like he's kind of getting the idea that this is a almost fun playtime, and it's uh, putting my nose in this thing is is worth it. Yeah, yeah. And since he knows the behavior, he knows to put his no, nose in there. I'm putting the word on there. Before he does that, I say muzzle, and then he does that. So that's putting a cue on there. Right, let's roll the last one. This. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Good job. Yes. Good boy. Here you go. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. Stay there, good boy. There you go, good boy. Good job. We go look for squirrels. All right, let's go look for squirrels. So. Uh, maybe uh, different than what you might think that uh, muzzles might be cruel or uncomfortable or mean or whatever. Well, it's just fine as far as the dog is concerned. That's a kind of the step-by-step -step thing. Uh, next time we will be talking about uh, preparing for vet visits and how to help your dog with how they feel with being at the vet. And uh, That'll be a, a good patient at the vet. There we go. Yeah. And here's your contact information at the bottom if you want to contact uh, Tom personally for training. Thank that's you. That's in Portsmouth. Right, in Portsmouth. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Thank you.